anyone at home wondering why we're not scuba diving here, well... <laughs> <laughs> well... <laughs> at 3,100 meters, yeah. <laughs> she is very active right now. The mantle's kind of the other direction, too. That's why I was curious. Yeah, you want to zoom in on that? She oh, might oh. be laying her eggs. It's possible. Ooh, really? Well, she's not in that upside down posture. She's very active. <laughs> I have to say that the uh, shimmering makes it a little hard to see what she's doing. <laughs> 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 yeah, I know. It's kind of a catch-22, right? Yeah, can we turn down the shimmer a little bit? No. <laughs> Who's, yeah, yeah, Samantha, can you call that in? Yeah, yeah Roger. Hot <laughs> yeah. water. Turn it off, please. <laughs> no, she's moving one. She's moving an innate. She has yeah. one in her arm. I think that might, this might be the first time we've seen the one actually actively cementing her eggs to the rock. So they... Um, have something similar to a salivary gland. They produce this uh, oviducal cement, and it, it, it's like an underwater cement. And they can attach the base, the stalk of the egg, directly to the rock. And the fact that she's not in the inverted position, her mouth is down, and that we just yeah, saw her way. carry an egg. And what's the difference between the optode and the temp probe? <laughs> well, the temperature probe on, on Herc is just that. It's just temperature. It's a big metal wand. Um, the uh, optode is a couple sensors in a PVC sleeve, so it's kind of protected, so you can kind of put it into some rocks. So it's still climbing. So right now it's uh, 6.58, 6.6 6 max. 6.67. Is that correct? That's what I'm seeing, yeah. Yeah, here on the ship, I, we're up to 6.8. I'm reading the right uh, graph. 6.9. Yeah, still going up a little bit. Yeah, we're going to keep it in here until it, yeah. it flattens out and stabilizes. And so, just for people watching at home, we are two miles deep in the ocean, and it is near freezing here. So, freezing is zero degrees Celsius, and we are at about 1.7 to 1.8 degrees Celsius for just ambient bottom water, and we're already over seven degrees Celsius. So we've already had a um, almost six degree jump. Balmy seven degrees. That's a balmy <laughs> seven. It's, that's still very cold for us, but it is a, is a hot tub for the octopus, that's for sure. Um, the warmest reading we've gotten at the garden uh, was 10.4. That one octopus on the right its mantle is shaped much like the alien in Aliens. That oblong kind of. <laughs> now we're really starting to. <laughs> <laughs> it's late. Well, also, when you've seen so many octopus, you have to find ways to distinguish them, right? It's, it's a different shape, you know? Usually the, yeah, we've seen it more rounded. Yeah. It's a little more oblong. The two octopus in the upper part of the screen were seemed to be, were interacting there for at least a second. Yeah. And every now and then we see an octopus like the one you're seeing here that isn't in that brooding posture. And when we can, sometimes we try and look closely at the structure of the arms because a male octopus has a third arm that looks different than a female. Sometimes those octopus that aren't in the brooding posture are males, but sometimes they're females. Yeah, okay. It's a male, and that is a female as well. Those are all just straight pointed tipped arms on the right side. And now uh, that we're here, they're embarrassed. Maybe they're courting. Maybe there's something going on here. Is that one of those single polyp oh, octocorals? It's the single polyp opt. Yeah, what's wow. the name of that one? Do you remember, uh, Erica? No, oh, and I saw that earlier and I was in disbelief. You know what this might right be? This might be the soft coral that's related to the mushroom yeah, soft there, coral right. called Bathy Alcyon robustum. Okay, Maybe. Steve, can you zoom out for me, please? Is this like a microbial mat? Well, one, yeah. I mean, it looks spongy to me right now. I can see like and, little holes uh, in it and stuff. But then I've there's, yeah, I've never seen microbial mat. Oh, wait. Are those yeah. just real dense tube worms? It almost looks like it. it looks what? Like... Oh, wow. It's yeah. like a ball of For yarn. Sure. Yeah, I think it's just really, really dense tube worms. And then I think that's oh, some more of Amanda's sponge. That's, that looks <laughs> like oh, a sponge. that's yeah. 
that's uh, yeah, some some anemones there too. Well, there's the sponge that's sticking out, and then encrusted on the rock are two worms and uh, little anemones. We can try and scrape those too. You're not close to octopus there, I don't think. We're not too close. Right, Steve, you'll be able to tell the difference feet. between any any new sponge and the sponge from last night, right? Oh yeah, uh, that's not a problem. It, yeah. This is the so the sponge that's in there is part of the taco sponge collection. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I know exactly where that. <laughs> I'm that going goes. down to get something to eat. Yeah. yeah. That that, that was not intentional. But More food. 